I am W. Franklin Evans, the ninth president of Voorhees College, and welcome to this, our 123rd Founders Day observance. I realize that this is a different technique, a different mode, but we want to celebrate the life, the legacy of Elizabeth Evelyn Wright, the founder of Voorhees College. And so I welcome and greet you on this day as we acknowledge the accomplishments of a great woman, Elizabeth Evelyn Wright. In this time here in our society, we are dealing with a serious pandemic, but we are grateful that God continues to bless us not only here on the campus, in this state, in this country, but in this world. And we believe that God's hand is upon us and that he will lead and guide us through this most difficult time. So we celebrate Voorhees College, 123 years of being in existence. And so we observe our Founders Day in a different way this time around but we want to acknowledge the accomplishments of our founder, Elizabeth Evelyn Wright. Over three years ago, uh, the college was in the makings of getting our presiding bishop, Bishop Michael B. Curry here to speak at our Founders Day. And although this format is very different than what we had planned, Bishop Curry is on hand to greet us and to provide us with words of inspiration as we celebrate our Founders Day. And so I present to you the Most Reverend Bishop, 27th Presiding Bishop and Prelate of the Episcopal Church, Bishop Michael Curry. Hello to all members of the Voorhees College community. I wish that I could be with you for this Founders Day celebration, but I, like you, am living in somewhat seclusion in the midst of the COVID-19 virus. We do so for the sake of the common good and to protect those who are most vulnerable. Many years ago, Elizabeth Evelyn Wright recognized that newly freed slaves and descendants of slaves were among the most vulnerable. She realized that education was the path to emancipation and liberation. She had studied at Tuskegee Institute where the late Booker T. Washington engraved minds and endowed them with the capacity to be leaders for those who had once been slaves. When I was in the fifth grade, soon after my public school had been desegregated, I was in the library of the school, thumbing around books, and I came upon a book called Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. I devoured the book. I have never forgotten it. And every few years, even now at the age of 67, I pick up a copy of that book and reread it. It has been an inspiration to me for most of my life. It was so for Elizabeth Evelyn Wright. And that inspiration and that knowledge gained and gleaned following in Booker T's footsteps, she went on to found what is today Voorhees College. Inspiration, determination, imagination, faith changing minds, changing lives. Education was then and is today the pathway to emancipation and liberation. A wise person once wrote, as a man thinketh, so is he. The truth is, Voorhees College and other colleges and universities like it in the HBCU community have educated countless thousands of people who 
who have helped to uplift the most vulnerable in our society. That must continue. That work must go on. And we on this Founders Day must rededicate and reconsecrate ourselves to that sacred calling, which is the calling of none other than the Almighty God himself. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, thou who hast brought us thus far on our way, thou who hast by thy might led us into the light, keep us forever in the path we pray, lest our feet stray from the places, our God, where we met thee, lest our hearts, drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. Shadowed beneath thy hand, may we forever stand true to our God and true to our native land. God love you. God bless you. And on this Founders Day and all the days to come, keep the faith. Thank you, Bishop Curry, for being a part of our observance and celebration of 123 years. Another aspect of Founders Day is to recognize those individuals and employees who have provided dedicated service and commitment to the institution. And this year we have some individuals who have been committed to the mission and cause of Voorhees College. For those individuals with 10 years of service, we salute Mr. Bobby Priester, Dr. Chandra Singh, Ms. Nellie McCray, and Ms. Nicole Saxton. We thank those individuals for 10 years of committed service. For those persons working 15 years, we have Mr. Michael Gary, who continues to show us dedicated service in the area of residential life. And then we have three employees who have been employed here 20 years. They include Mr. Augusta Kitchens, Miss Alice Bryant, and Miss Cheryl Knight. Again, we thank you for your committed and dedicated service to Voorhees College. Additionally, during our Founders Day observation, we also acknowledge our staff employee of the year, along with our faculty employee of the year for 2019-2020. This year's staff employee of the year is described as being caring, kind, compassionate, and committed. We salute Ms. Kimberly Smalls, Assistant Register in the Division of Enrollment Management as this year's Staff Member of the Year, 2019-2020. On the faculty side, our selection for this year comes from the Department of Business and Entrepreneurship. It is none other than Assistant Professor Alicia Davis in the program of accounting. We salute you, Professor Davis, for being our faculty member of the year. And also you will represent us as the SCICU Excellence in Teaching as our award recipient from Voorhees College. Congratulations to you, Professor Davis, and to you, Ms. Smalls, for a job well done. Every year during our Founders Day observation, we process through the Memorial Gardens for a wreath laying ceremony to commemorate the life of our founder, Elizabeth Evelyn Wright. This year, Ms. Wright was inducted into the South Carolina Hall of Fame. We are so proud of our founder finally being in the books and chronicles of South Carolina as a great South Carolinian who made amazing contributions 
and accomplishments to this society. And as a tribute to our founder, Elizabeth Evelyn Wright, who has finished the course of her earthly life and who has departed from our ranks, we commemorate her on this day for her tireless efforts in setting the stage for Voorhees College to not only survive, thrive, flourish. It is because of that beginning in 1897 that we exist now and we can offer opportunities to young men and to young women to prepare them for the larger world. O oh Lord, as we lay the wreath on her grave site, accept our thanks and praise for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, and for the wonders of life. We praise you for setting us at tasks which demand our best effort and for leading us to accomplishments which not only satisfy, but delight. O oh God of both the living and dead, we praise your holy name for your servant, Elizabeth Evelyn Wright, who finished her earthly course. And we pray that, encouraged by her example and strengthened by her love and thirst for knowledge, that we may show gratitude in your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forevermore. Amen. This concludes our 123rd Founders Day observation. Thank you for joining with us. Thank you for being supportive of Voorhees College. And remember that at Voorhees College, life begins right here. And that if you can believe in the Elizabeth Wright way, we promise you, you can become anything your heart desires. Voorhees College, begin, believe, become.